Okay, hello everybody. This is going to be a super speedy get ready with me because per usual I am running late. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to get dressed um, pretty quick. Honestly, don't even know if I'm going to use this video because I'm rushing. Hmm, do I want to put primer on or no? I want to try this one again, but this is the Yves Saint Laurent uh, primer. Um, last time I used this primer, it broke my face out. <laughs> so, why not try it again, right? I'm honestly going to be super upset if my. <laughs> If my face breaks out, but um, it's not like my skin's doing the best anyway. So, okay, anyway, so I need to hurry up. I got maybe 20 minutes uh, to do my makeup. This is supposed to be a chit chat, get ready with me, um, 21 questions edition. So, let me just get my makeup ready. Anyway, okay. So, question number one. What is my name and how did I get my name? So, my full name is Brandy Maria Jackson. Jefferson originally. And I got my name from my dad, my first name. Anyway, I got my first name from my dad. He named, he was, my mom was going to name me uh, Brittany. Uh, shout out to all the Brittany's out there, but I'm super thankful that that's not my name because growing up, there were always like, five Britneys in every class and I just found that was pretty annoying and the only reason why I actually thought about like how annoying that is is because you know that was going to be my name so every time there was like five Britneys in my class I was just like thank you dad that you did not let my mom name me Brittany because I did not want to be the sixth Brittany in class. So um, that is where my first name came from. My middle name, which is Maria, is from my grandpa. So my mom's dad is Puerto Rican. Um, you probably can't tell because I just look black, but anyway, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, my mom's dad is Puerto Rican, so she's half black, half Puerto Rican, and so my grandpa told my mom that he needs to give one of us a historically Spanish name. Now I know I've looked up Maria and some people say it's not historically like a Spanish name or blah blah blah, you know, just look up the origin. But anyway, my grandpa told my mom she needs to give one of us a Spanish name, and that is how I got the, the last the name, I mean, last name, the middle name, Maria. So, as far as my last name, you all know, if you watch my video, uh, my last name right now is Jackson, but my maiden name is Jefferson, so... Um, people like to joke and say, why do you have all presidential last names? And then I like to joke and say, probably because of slavery. But, uh, I uh, didn't want to change my name back to Jefferson because it's basically pointless. Like, I don't care enough to change my name back to my maiden name. So, it's just going to say Jackson until I get married again. So, uh, hopefully this next person 
Mm. I'm Mary. Uh, doesn't have a presidential last name. Because that would just be super weird. Okay, next question. What is my zodiac sign? So, I love this question. Um, I'm low key obsessed with zodiac, but then I try not to um, take it too seriously. Like, some people take it really seriously. But if you really think about it, a lot of the stuff that they say applies to certain zodiac signs can honestly apply to all of them. It just depends on the situation you are in uh, and how you were raised. So, I wouldn't lean completely on the accuracy. Accuracy? I don't know if I'm saying that right. On the accuracy of like horoscopes and zodiac signs and all that other stuff. Like, some of it's true, some of it can be applied to all different uh, zodiac signs. So, I wouldn't take those readings um, so seriously, but I am a Cancer. My birthday is July 16th, and I am 26 years old, and I'd have to say Cancers are, you know, known to be the more emotional sign, and uh, based on what my mom told me, I have been a crybaby my whole life, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I wouldn't say, now that I'm older, I'm not as much of a crybaby as I was when I was younger, but um, every sign I feel like you can learn to control, you know, your emotions if you want to. So, uh, my eyebrows might not look the best. They're probably gonna just stay like this. Like, I don't, they look fine to me. Uh, oops. They obviously could look better, but who cares? Uh, as long as my makeup turns out decently cute, and I'm fine. So, a uh, combination I've been using lately has been the. Uh, Kat Von D Locket Foundation mixed with the uh, Shameless Youth Foundation by Marc Jacobs. Um, this has been my go-to for a more full coverage look. So this is my go-to for tonight as well. So the Beyonce World Exclusive. Put it on with this brush. I know it probably looks fucking crazy. That's fine. But anyway, uh, where, what question was I on? Oh, cancer. Anyway, I'm a cancer. Um, so is my mom, so is one of my brothers, and, um, I'd say they're a lot more sensitive than I am. Um, they definitely wear their emotions on their sleeves, and it's hard for them to kind of separate, uh, emotion from logic, I would say. Um, but on my end, uh, it's not that hard for me if I'm interacting with people not on a personal level. So, um, if I'm at work or if, like, I'm with people just interacting with them, like friends and stuff like that, I would say I'm not as emotional as they could be. But when it comes to relationships, I don't know if it's because I'm a girl or it's because most cancers react this way, but I'm more emotional with whoever I'm in a relationship with than if it were just somebody random. Random people, I could really care less about anything that they're saying and um, that's easy for me because your opinion really doesn't matter. But for the most part, uh, 
whoever I'm with, like if it's a guy, um, I take it, uh, not more personal, well yeah, I take it, take what they say more personal than if it were just somebody on the street. Okay, so I have this tart shape tape. I like to use this when I'm going out places. And I just do a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the eye. Sometimes I'll put like a tiny bit up here. Um, I've watched people's videos and <laughs> they use so much of this like underneath their uh, eye and you know to conceal but this is so thick that I just don't even like using that much of it because it's a lot so just do a tiny bit run it out on the nose and be kind of careful with it look at that that was like nothing and it is just this is the thickest concealer I've ever used so it's 501 right now and like I said, I have to leave here at least by, I mean at the latest 530, but I'm going to try to get out of here by 520 if things go Um, so then I take my Sacha Buttercup powder. I think I want to go back to using translucent powder by Laura Mercier, but I mean, I'm also trying to be cheap, so I don't know. We'll see. Oops, it's so messy. Dear God, how could I forget you? Sex. Boy, it feels just like a dream to me. Now, before you speak, don't move the Beyonce. Okay, next question. What is my favorite food? Um, honestly, not to be like cliche, but I just love fried chicken. Like, I would have to say I'm always in the mood for fried chicken, but honestly, who isn't in the mood for fried chicken? Like, what are you doing with your life if you're not? Uh, wait, I take that back. My sister doesn't really care for it. She'll eat it, but she doesn't want it all the time. Me, on the other hand, I mean, I can eat chicken every day. Get it popping with some fried chicken. So, um, I'd say fried chicken. I love a good ribeye steak. Sushi and tacos. So those are probably, I mean, I feel like that's everybody's favorite foods, but those are like my top favorite foods. Uh, for relationship status, uh, <laughs> relationship status is complicated. <laughs> um, so I talked to somebody, um, as you could tell, based off of my last vlog. And that's all I'll say about that. I don't really want to get into it, but yes, I do talk to someone. And yeah. How many kids do I want? Mm, that's a good question. I want, I'm going into my naked palette. This is the second one. And I'm taking the color snake bite and I'm just gonna pop it in my crease like so. But how many kids do I want? I want two kids, but I'm not gonna lie, like I used to work at a daycare and that was by far my favorite job that I ever had. But daycares just don't pay enough money, so I couldn't work there forever. So um I say I only want two kids, but honestly, depending on who I'm with and depending on how we're feeling after we have two kids, I could end up with like a freaking football team <laughs> of kids, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. 
of when that's going to happen and who that's going to happen with. And based off of that, I don't know. Maybe I'll have two kids. Ideally, I was thinking a boy and a girl and, you know, just call it a day. Keep it simple. But on the other hand, I come from an extremely large family uh, and I like having a lot of siblings. So I have mixed views on that whole subject, but for now we'll just say two. Sorry for the long answer. So two. Um, I'm taking my MAC palette. I have like freaking six, six shades in here and I'm just popping one of the lighter blend colors into my crease and blending, blending. Next question. What's the last song I listened to? Um, the last song I listened to goes like, you keep doing me how you want. No, I'm not going to sing because that sound bad. But uh, Janae Aiko, Aiko. And I don't know who else is in that song. Let's pick a different song that I actually know who it is because I don't have time to look up. Um, on my way home, I listened to Biggie, Get Money, a classic that everybody should listen to and you should definitely know the words to. And I was just jamming out to that. Anyway, um, tattoos and piercings. Actually, that just reminded me I need to put my nose ring in. Uh, tattoos, I have none. Piercings, I used to have my belly button pierced. I actually got it pierced like three times <laughs> and then I ended up taking it out uh, when I got in the military because I just didn't, I don't know, belly button rings were a thing for like a long time and then they just fell off. But I like before that even happened, I, I didn't stop wearing mine. It was just too much work. Um, and I don't know if I will ever get it done again. We'll see, maybe. But not anytime soon, I'm not thinking. So nose, ears. My ears have been pierced since I was like six months old. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'm going in with Foxy because I like to do lighter on the inner corner with the smoky look, so. So I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. Next, pets. Um, so I have Titan, my husky, that you see, um, me and Boo walking sometimes, and I walk him as you can see in my vlogs around the lake, so I have Titan, um, that's it, someone famous I would like to date, wow, who picked this question, uh, if I had to date someone famous, the only person, I'm not saying every all other options are out the window, but the only person I would actually consider dating is Davey Simmons. I have been obsessed with him for a long time. Like, anyway, um, he's just... He just seems like a nice guy, and I know that's probably not, I mean, you know, he, he was on the show, Ron's house or whatever, and 
you know, that could all be a lot for all I know, but he just seems really sweet and he just is so cute and yeah, that's who I would date. So let's see, what's it? How old am I? I already answered this. I am 26 years old and like I said, my birthday is July 16th. Okay, so I'm gonna have to finish the rest of this in the car or somewhere else because I, there's a lot of traffic and I'm just gonna put these eyelashes on, get dressed and leave because I didn't realize there'll be this much traffic. Let's see, what's the next question? What age do you wish you could permanently be? I don't know. I'm not that old, so I can't really say. Plus, age is kind of irrelevant. Like, hmm. Age isn't that important. Next question. What shows do you like to watch? Um, so I'm not even like a huge TV person in you, on me in the first place. So I watch like kind of pointless shows. Like I watch The Office. I watch New Girl. I watch Keep It Up With The Kardashians. I watch... Chris Lee's knows, Chris Lee knows best. The Beyonce World Exclusive. I don't have, oh, Insecure. Why did I forget that? That's not a pointless show. And Grownish, which comes back on January 2nd. But on a regular basis, um, really watch anything I'm more of like I like to read books or watch YouTube videos don't lie like she's a little like me because I just throw them on okay next question who is your go-to artist obviously Beyonce Behind Beyonce, I listen to Sam Smith and Janae Aiko. So, yeah, those are my top artists. Um, and those are my three go to uh, artists if I want to listen to music. The Beyonce World Exclusive. So, Beyonce, Sam Smith. Janae. That's it. That's who I listen to. So, um, yeah. Let's see, next question. What do you wish you knew more about? Um, I wish I knew more about real estate and real estate investing because I want to invest in real estate. I want to be a real estate investor and I know that's not an easy job, but hopefully one day I can get into it. We'll see. Before you speak, don't move, cause I don't The Beyonce World Exclusive.